Hayes walking us through how that fugitive got there in the first place and what he left behind. Imagine walking into your garage to see this. Someone running from the police trying to escape through the attic. The person busting through the drywall and then caught by the neighbor hanging from the ceiling. Janice Galliano was napping when police knocked on her door. They were looking for someone apparently. What she didn't know is that she'd be meeting that person very soon. I went back to my room, laid back down. Five, ten minutes later, I hear more banging. Confused, her natural instincts driving her to follow the noise. The noise started to get closer and closer and louder. That's when she opened the garage door. And I found him, half of his body was hanging out and I saw his legs dangling. In disbelief and still half asleep, she blurted, What the f are you doing? <laughs> the man on the run from police telling her he's sorry and broke through the drywall in the attic dividing the duplex. So you broke it from the other side, is that supposed to make me feel better? Is that supposed to just excuse what you're doing right now? I don't know. The felon then slipping back into the hot dark attic. He just pulled the door closed and then just went about his, his, his way. That was it. <laughs> He even made it away from police, but back on Santa Barbara Place, Janice is still processing exactly what took place in her home Wednesday afternoon. It was definitely uh, an experience. Thankfully, nothing happened and I was safe and the house was safe. You know, no one got hurt. And that image of the man hanging from the ceiling is stuck in her mind. And so is this thought. Uh, you know. What are you doing? After our interview with Janice, we walked outside to see this posted on the neighbor's door, an eviction notice. Janice's landlord giving her neighbor 15 days to pack up and move out. Janice tells me that her landlord does plan on coming back to patch this wall up, but the suspect police came here to arrest in the first place is still on the run tonight. In Cape Coral, Gage Golding, NBC2.